Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS and 3 or less. Today we're in the F-16 showing how to fire the harm in pre-briefed mode. This method can be used to attack a SAM radar from maximum range. The SAM needs to be within a couple of miles of a known waypoint though. As always, useful control bindings will be on screen at the end of the video. Check master arm on and confirm that the radar warning receiver is also on. If it's not, you can turn it on here. Select air to ground mode and bring the weapon page into a spare slot on the left MFD. Check that the AGM-88 is selected and power it on. We're done with the stores page so bring back the HSD. We can use the HSD to get a look at the threats that we're facing. Set the HSD as soy and zoom out so that you can see the enemy SAMs. Put the TDC cursor over them and zoom back in. We're going to attack that SA-2 that's out near Waypoint 2, which is our current waypoint. On the weapon page you can see we're currently in HAZ mode, or harm as sensor. We're going to go into POS, positional mode. Now we'll cycle through our sub-modes until we get to PB, or pre-briefed. The harm will fire at the currently selected Waypoint 2, but expecting to see an SA-10 radar. Let's change that. We'll find which table has the SA-2 radar on and select it. Let's unfreeze the HSD. In pre-brief mode we fly directly at the target and we get guidance from the HUD that gives us the maximum range of launch. That symbology shows us the azimuth steering line, current range, maximum possible range, maximum range with our current loft angle, and our minimum range. When the large box starts flashing, that means we can fire. As we come up to our maximum possible range, I'm going to engage the afterburner and wait for our lofting indicator to appear. Pitch up. Once the velocity vector reaches the range carrots, we'll get the shoot cue. Magnum. The harm will now fly a ballistic path towards the program steer point. It'll search the vicinity of the steer point to find an emitter of the type we've programmed in. In this case, an SA-2 tracking radar. We're going to fly our aircraft in a way that we try and get the SAM to track us without actually being able to hit us. This gives the harm something to lock onto as it approaches its terminal phase. We've got the SA-6 radar up, and there's the SA-2. So our time to impact, and we're outside of any launch ranges. The SAM's locked us up now. We'll stay on the outside of the circle until our harm gets there. Even when the time has hit zero, it'll take the radar warning a couple of seconds to indicate that the radar stopped emitting. There we go. I've been Dan and you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from Got Space Game. Huge thanks to all my Kofi supporters, and if you found this video useful, please subscribe for more 3 minute tutorials on all of your favourite DCS modules.